Very well, welcome back to you, right here on Afternoon Express. My name is Danilo, but I kind of messed that up. Bali is with us on the kitchen today on Afternoon Express, and we're making the perfect winter dish. It's going to save all of those cravings that you've thought of throughout yeah. the winter season. It's yeah, going to warm so your soul as much as it's going to warm your belly. Uh, we're making a penne con quattro formaggi, which yes. basically just means four cheeses. Yeah. So we're just going to throw cheese onto penne. How do we get started? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to heat some olive oil up in the pot. Okay. Okay, get that nice and hot. Oh, yes. Okay, and then we're going to add um, oregano mm -hmm. to it. And we're going to make it nice and crispy. No, oh, that's interesting. I've never seen that happen before. Why do you do that? You want to release all the flavors. You don't want to put it last minute. And okay. then you just get like a bit of the flavor. So by doing this, you're releasing all the flavors. Oh, and also makes it yeah. very aromatic. Mm. Yum. Okay. I've okay. never actually seen it done in the oil like that. So that's a skill yeah. that I've just learned. I'm okay. making mental notes. Yeah. <laughs> And then we're going to add um, the penne. Cool. Which you've obviously pre-cooked before. Uh, yeah. Um, which has helped a lot. You can use pretty much any kind of, uh, well, Ooh. of the Italian pastas <laughs> that I think are going to be able to soak up one of these sauces. So a penne is a nice one because it's, 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 it's uh, which are portionable a lot easier. You can create the different styles of penne you can use, but it's really just the flavors we're speaking about today. Yeah. So if you don't want to do it with penne, you want to use rigatoni, you're welcome to, yeah. Okay, so what we've done... Oh. So that's, no, that's like me, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so what we've done, we've reserved some of the water from cooking the pasta. Okay. Because we're going to make it nice and creamy. Yummy. So we're going to add a bit of the water now. Ooh. So it's almost like having a pasta stock. So if you yeah, get chicken stock, you get stock. vegetable stock, we're making pasta stock here. Okay, and then, okay. You must use bigger gesture. We make a big, big gesture. food in the kitchen today. Okay. You must use big gesture. So we add the water to the pasta. You must swear at me as you go, <laughs> nah, done like this. Okay. So, okay. so we're going to have liquid in there. Then we're okay. going to start adding the formaggi to formaggi. the pasta. Formaggi. I like you. Which <laughs> formaggi are we using first? So we got the gorgonzola. <laughs> Beautiful. I like Mali. She can stay. Uh, okay, so we're not going to be shy. We're just going to go yes. for it. Cool. Okay. We never shy on the show, no. clearly. Yeah, I think everyone's well. learned that. Mmm, okay. yummy. Then we're gonna add mascarpone. It's like a pony with a mask on it. <laughs> it's a masked pony. You see if you want to learn how to pronounce. Okay. okay. Mascarpone then, is also delicious because it's super creamy and it adds such a richness to all sorts yeah. of dishes. So. And then yummy. we got some parmigiano reggiano. I see. A parmigiano reggiano. What's what's a reggiano? Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you only catch a chef off guard. It's the best. It's the best thing in the world because oh, I don't gosh. even know what reggiano <laughs> means. Parmigiano reggiano. I don't even know. Okay. Oh, yummy. So that's three cheeses. What's our fourth? The fourth cheese is the fior de latte, oh, mozzarella, oh. that we're going to add to the top. Make a little bit nice later, little, I think, because later, that yes. is the most phenomenal cheese. We've used it, I think, as our thrice time mm. using it on the show. It is, it is the most phenomenal thing. In Italy, when you buy your mozzarella di buffalo, it comes in a sort of um, salted water that you get. You literally serve it to you just like that with a little bit of olive oil and maybe a, a pinch of salt if you want to add it to it. Just eat it summer mm. like that. It's so delicious. Yo. Okay, then we're going to add fresh basil pesto. Okay. The whole tub, because we also like that. Yeah. So we almost, we, I see you serving in a red dish so that you can get the white of the cheese, the green of the <laughs> pesto, and the red of the dish, making Italian colors. Yeah, we are, exactly. You're doing so well, Mali. <laughs> I like it. Oh, right. and it's so simple to make. Very simple, and oh. it's tasty, it's rich, it's just wholesome. Oh, delicious. Okay, so we get all that juiciness. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we're going to decant this into the... Oven dish? Dish, yeah. Can do we I help you with that? Because I think these are quite heavy. It is quite heavy. There we go. So I'll hold it like this. Yeah. You can do all the scooping. And this is, we, do we bake this in the oven or how yes, does this we work? Do. Okay. So it's almost a, pata a, a, a pasta bake. A pasta bake, exactly. My nonna would be very upset with you. You must not put pasta in the oven. <laughs> what are you talking? Okay, so then, do you mind breaking up the mozzarella sure. for me? And we're going to put it over. Then we're going to pop it into the oven. Cool. And this is one of those ones I, I also learned this previously. You always tear the mozzarella di buffalo. You never, you never try and play around too no. much with, with cutting it with knives mm -hmm. and stuff. That's never a good idea. So you want it. Look how stringy it comes out when you when That's you just beautiful. tear it like that. It's a delicious, delicious texture. Mm, it's the most yummy thing. Okay. So what happens next? This goes okay. into the oven. And how hot for how long? So we put it in the oven for until the cheese melts and it's nice and browned and then we pop it out and then we're going to sprinkle some bacon over it. Oh, that sounds so delicious. If you guys want to get bacon. this recipe and the shopping list, it's on our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. You can make everything we make on the show simply by visiting that website, taking one of the recipes each evening and cooking it with us right here on Afternoon Express. 
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We're definitely celebrating happiness right here in the kitchen because anything makes me happy, but particularly things that have cheese and pasta. It's such a warming dish to make. And we're making a four cheeses on the show today, but in real Italian, you say it like a... Quattro formaggi, o bene quattro formaggi. <laughs> si! And we've got Vali joining us in the loft today, and she's making us this delicious dish. We just need to put the final touches on. Yes, that's all you need to do. Cool, so tell me what I can do. Okay, so, hey, you mind putting the pan on? Sure, that I can do for you. Okay, so we're just going to fry up some bacon. Mm -hmm. um, just a few... Rashers. Yes. And no one can ever say no to a bit of bacon. You're going to make it extra crispy. Cool. And the way to make it extra crispy, tips please. Um, well, the best way for me is to grill it in the oven. You get a nice even colouring and it crisps up beautifully. Uh -huh, but yeah. we're doing it in the pan to show you another version. So, so in case you are maybe struggling with your oven at home or it doesn't mm. work as well as you would have liked yeah. it to, this is another way that you can do it here. I'm going to let those sit because I know you've mm. done the ones in the oven, yep. right? Okay. And that's what, that's what it should come looking like. <laughs> I'm glad she's a klutz in the kitchen because then she's my type of chef. We can oh, make hey. mess together. Oh, we girl. Okay. Cool. So you've so, well, you've baked those in the oven, yeah, which is given that nice crisp. Mm. So then we cut them into butt-sized pieces. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, they're extra crispy, actually. Let's just break it with our hands. Oh, it's nice that idea. Way. There we go. Mm. Mm -mm. That looks so yummy. And basically, we're just going to drizzle those on top of, drip that's, them on top of this pasta all dish. all we do. It's all been baked in the oven. Oh, yummy. That looks delish. Makes it extra crispy. There we go. Fantastic. And just like that, voila. I guess you can put a little bit of cheese on top of that, and this dish to? is made. Guys, this was probably the most <laughs> simple dish I've ever made on Afternoon Express. It is filled with flavor, it is easy to make, and it will impress anyone that you have coming over to your house. So if you want to make this dish, afternoonexpress.co.z is where you can find the recipe and the shopping list. And voila, this could be your dinner this evening. It'll literally, if you literally go to the shops right now and buy the four cheeses and put them in your thing, it'll be done by the time dinner's ready. Thank go. you, Mbali. It's been such an honor cooking with you. Thank you for having me. I'm going to go take me. this to our guests. Sure. How are you doing, YouTube fam? Thank you so much for watching, sharing, and commenting. We love hearing from you, so be sure to keep up to date with all things Afternoon Express by clicking the subscribe button right here.